Uh, I like to think it's a fresh slate and I got a whole new mentality, whole new, you know, I didn't come into last year, you know, with a, in, a, in a bad place. It was just kind of, um, you know, the things, it was, it was the way that the cookie crumbled and, you know, it's, you, you saw a raw emotion and, and you know, that was, that was just genuine, uh, a genuine look at, at what we were going through. And, um, you know, it wasn't always the, the brightest point, but there was, there was a lot of, you know, good moments too. You know, I'm, I'm in a really good place right now. Really happy to be out here with the guys. Happy to, to watch, uh, you know, Aiden and Gardner go at it and, and just have a, you know, really just put the, their best tape together. They're not even battling each other. It's, it's, you know, Aiden versus Aiden, Gardner versus Gardner, you know, me versus me, Kobe versus Kobe, and that's just kind of how it is on this team. Welcome back, Judy Batista. Welcome in our friend Steve White. You heard Steve. Devontae Adams right there talking about the quarterback situation. And there have been a ton of changes from his buddy Derek Carr, who was there, was benched late in the 2022 season. Then obviously last year it was Jimmy G. They made the move to Aiden O'Connell. Devontae says that he signed off. Now, whether it's Gardner Minshew or Aiden O'Connell, somebody's got to get Devontae the ball in the early going or all that under-the-radar buzz about maybe he would be available in a trade is only going to pick up. 1,000%, Tom. And I was at day one of training camp today down in Costa Mesa, with the Raiders, and there's a lot of talk about how this probably is going to be a run-heavy offense, which is not music to Devontae Adams' ears. But, you know, you heard him talk about the quarterback competition right there between Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew. Of course, head coach Antonio Pierce said got to work with the backups. Now, they were mentally stressed, though. Luke Getzey, the new offensive coordinator, was rolling in a ton of personnel packages, including multiple tight end packages with this year's rookie first-round draft pick Brock Bowers, last year's top pick Michael Mayer. That's something to look for in this office offense. And in terms of Adams, just a little side note, he said he may have to dip out of training camp because his wife is expected to deliver their baby boy at any moment, Judy. Just to go back to him talking about the Netflix show, he uh, I give him a lot of credit because he did not try to say, no, we were misportrayed and it wasn't edited fairly. He said, yeah, it was a, an accurate representation of how frustrated he was. He did not back off how frustrated he was last season. I did think he sounded really settled and in a good place right now, although certainly we will see how the season develops. If they're not going to get him the ball, I suspect we will see a lot more frustration. One thing I did think was interesting, he talked about Luke Getze's offense and how comfortable he is in that. And he said he remembers about 85% of that offense from when it was in Green Bay. So he feels a real comfort level. He's been able to help other guys absorb it. Uh, and perhaps that will help a little bit calm the waters there. But as you said, Steve, if they are going to focus on having a run-heavy attack and they don't get the ball to Devontae Adams Early and often, certainly keep your eye on the trade deadline because we are going to be talking an awful lot about Devontae Adams at that point.